I say. You're not all that what you make yourself out to be. Okay, apparently we need to find some energy for her. Let's return to the potion shop for that. Because now that we know what happened to her, I think Kotake is able to actually do something about that. And yes, you do need to have seen Kume in that dialogue, otherwise this won't trigger. But if you return to the Magic Hacks potion shop and tell her what happened, she's able to help us. What's that? The Skull Kid got to Kume? That's ridiculous. If it's just a Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. You got a bottle of Red Potion. Red Potion replenishes health. After using the potion, save the bottle for storing things. Yeah, that's definitely able to help her. Quick, take that potion to her. Okay, um, first things first about this. You can actually decide to drink it yourself, but if you do, <laughs> you need to actually buy another one. Because otherwise this quest won't be able to solve it fully. So make sure you don't drink it yourself. Because otherwise you're forced to buy a new one. You do have the bottle now, so at this point you can actually buy some... Uh, what the hell? <laughs> okay, let's not screw around with the L targeting too much here. It's only going to end up getting myself lost. <laughs> but anyway, like I was trying to say, you do have a bottle now. So even if you decide to drink the red potion or do something else with it... You still have the empty bottle, so you can actually buy potions from this point on. But it's better to just uh, save that first one and give it to her. But unlike last time, this time I can help you. Here, take this. Ah, that color! That smell! That's definitely Kotake's. Give me that! <laughs> Oh, I feel the energy flow! Kume is revived! You saved me! I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want a free ride. Okay, that's just taken care of. Now we can actually venture the rest of the swamp because of Kume being back as a tour guide. And this is not where the exit is. <laughs> this is where the exit is. We can actually hire those boats and venture into the rest of the swamp. The starting area is not that bad, as you might have noticed. Here, the water is still pretty normal. But further on in the swamp, the water is poisoned. There's a lot of monsters blocking our way. Trust me, we need that boat in order to venture further into the swamp. And actually reach the Deku Palace. Because that place is interesting. I'd like to check that out. Okay, before we talk to her, there's actually a couple of other dialogues this other guy can talk about. So let's go see if we can trigger them. Blimey, where is he? My spoiled son is slacking off again. A man his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh, uh, <coughs> welcome. Uh, my apologies, uh, that has nothing to do with you. Well, have you taken any nice pictographs? Pictographs? Do I look like I have a camera? Huh? You haven't heard about the pictograph contest yet? Jeez, I have to do everything myself. Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It is open for all ages, from children to adults. As a reward for nice pictographs taken in the swamp, you can have your pick of a complimentary boat cruise or a cash prize. You will receive your free pictograph box when you take a boat cruise, so do have a go if you're interested. Okay, uh, we can take pictures apparently, but for that we need a camera. And apparently we get one for free from you. <laughs> so, let's go talk to you. Oh, well, thanks for what you did back there. In a special deal for you, I'll let you have this cruise for free. Ah, yes, and we got a special going on right now, so... I'm also giving this out for free. You got a pictograph box. Tap the camera button to look through it and tap A to snap a picture. You can only store one pictograph at a time, but you can retake it as many times as you like. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it to the fellow over there. Alright, the boat is leaving. 
Welcome to the boat cruise. Take out your pictograph box. And that text goes way too fast. <laughs> Never mind then. But anyway, um, as you can see, we are now in a boat cruise. We can't move. We can just look around with our control stick. The camera will start moving. And we can also tap this button. Our look around button has now changed into a camera button. So we can actually take pictures in this game. Really fun to do, actually. Let's try it out by taking a picture of this giant mountain here in the swamp. That's pretty much how it works, as you can see. There's mul multiple things we can actually do with the pictograph box. I think I'll save all of them for later. For now, I'd like to focus on the main quest, most of all. Okay, here we enter a new area of the swamp, one we haven't seen yet. Good reason, because we weren't able to do anything here anyway. <laughs> But there is a frog here. Oh, and she will start talking about the big octo now. However, boat strong. Boat kill octo. <laughs> okay, and the time of the water being pure also seems to be over. This is poisonous water we have over here. Don't start swimming in this. It will end up killing you. So good thing we're on a boat. <laughs> We have now arrived at the Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous around here, so please watch your step. Are we disembarking? Of course we do. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you from the forest. Lately this swamp filled with poison water. Woodfall Temple across swamp strange, but me not able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother went to see Deku Princess to find temple. It not go well. Now brother captured by the Deku. Brother in palace. He and swamp in big danger. Help. Okay. The Woodful Temple seems to be responsible for this poisonous water. However, in order to access it, we need to be a Deku. And where do the Dekus live? Here. In the swamp. At Deku Palace. The Deku Society has been found. <laughs> Okay, there's a save point here, so you can actually save your game here if you'd like. Other than that, let's go check out this place. And apparently we are not allowed to pass. This is the royal palace of the Deku Kingdom. There's no place for outsiders. Humans not allowed. But luckily we have this mask. <laughs> this is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay. Public punishment of a monkey. It's gotta be the brother of the monkey that uh, just talked to us now. Here in the ro royal chamber, he was caught. Just because he wanted to talk to the princess. And this is how he ended up. That can't be good. We need to talk to these guys. The Woodfall Temple seems important. And uh, this monkey got caught for nothing, it looks like. Let's go see what reason these guys have for actually binding him. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I wouldn't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku Princess. He insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. Okay, these guys seem to think they kept, he kidnapped the princess. Now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in his current state, the king can't even send troops out to look for her. What are we to do? Okay, the butler seems to know the princess is kidnapped with some by somebody else, but the king is apparently convinced that he is responsible. They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please, believe my words. Yeah, I believe you. However, the king does not, and that is what matters. So we need to find another solution in order to solve this problem. Oh, hello. You again. And I'm forced to talk to you. <laughs> Was my brother alright? 
Did you see the entrance to the cage? We know secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance. But entrance is in tall place. No can reach it. Need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath palace garden. Hmm. Understand my meaning? Yep. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry, help brother. Okay, this dialogue is new in the 3DS version, by the way. Apparently the Nintendo 64 version was a little bit too fake, but allow me to tell you what he was actually talking about. <laughs> Here in these inner gardens where he was talking about, there's apparently a bean cellar, and that bean we need in order to reach a secret entrance to the cage. There's actually two of these gardens, as you can see. One of them is required for the main quest. Actually, the place where we can find these uh, beans. The other one is just for a piece of heart, so let's do that one first. Also something we need. It's still 100% playthrough after all. <laughs> but here, as you can see, we have a stealth section. What is a Zelda game without a stealth section? <laughs> we need to sneak past these guards here. Make sure we stay out of their line of sight. Because otherwise we are going to get thrown out of this place. During the night, these guys actually have some searchlights. <laughs> There's actually some lights coming out of their snouts. So you can actually easier see what uh, location they're actually looking at. Which is pretty interesting. But anyway, at the end of this first route, we will find a piece of heart. So let's get spotted. And this is what happens if you get spotted, as you can see. <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Only this time we're heading east. Because here is where the story continues. This one is also a little bit harder, I feel, but still shouldn't be too difficult to do. Just make sure you only approach any guards that aren't looking your way, and you should be fine. It's usually pretty lenient. Even if they look at you directly, they usually only spot you if you are pretty close to them, so... This is a lot easier than it looks. Okay, time to move again. And this actually ends in a grotto, as you can see. And this grotto is where we want to be. Here we find the dude on the carpet. <laughs> I could talk to him. Well, mm -hmm. you're the first customer I've had in a long time. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. And that they do, they do. Mm, I'll give you one free sample. So, try planting it in some soft soil. You can always buy more. You got magic beans. Find a patch of soft soil and then use the item buttons to plant them. Remember, even special beans need water to grow. Who knows what will sprout up? You can get to the outer garden from over by the fountain. Find soft soil there. You can use it. You can plant the beans whenever you want. But if you don't water them, their leaves won't grow. Yeah, the game is giving a lot of hints about water. <laughs> Definitely trying to make sure you don't forget. These are actually soft soils. They look like this. This one is actually quite useless. It only leads to uh, a chest with a red rupee. So allow me to ignore that. However, we also need some water. Let's tap the items. Let's do the correct button this time. <laughs> Magic beans and empty bottle that we now have. Because yes, empty bottle is actually what you use in order to store water. On multiple locations in this game, you can actually find spring water. And that is something we can actually carry around in our bottle. Okay, we can use this exit to immediately get ourselves to the outer garden. In the N64 version, this exit is not here. You actually have to go around the palace. Okay, over here we find another patch of soft soil. As you can see, in this one we do want to use. So just stand above it. Press the magic bean button. And some leaves will sprout, as you can see. But that is all that will happen. In order to actually use it, we need to water it. Just throw some water on top of it. And we get the known magic bean platform we know and love from Ocarina of Time. <laughs> and this is how it works here. We don't need seven years in order for these things to grow. Here we can just throw some magic water over it. <laughs> For it to instantly grow. And that is our way to the first floor of this palace. The upper areas. 
So it's time for some Deku flower platforming. Night of the first day, 60 hours remain. Ah, there's plenty of time. <laughs> okay, be careful for these enemy Deku scrubs that are here to hinder you. You can ignore them, their aim is usually pretty terrible, so... <laughs> And if you do fear them, you can actually take them out. Just uh, shoot a bubble, bubble at them from a distance. And you can take them out. You even get some magic uh, jars here in case your magic is running low. Allow me to show you off. Just bam! And they are gone. <laughs> and they even give you uh, an extra deck of flowers, so... It makes traversing this area a little bit easier. If you think the jumps are a little bit too far. And this guy's hard to hit because of the wall being too high. <laughs> but like I said, you can easily ignore them, so I'm not going to bother. Thank you. This final platform will take us to the secret entrance the monkey was talking about. It is up here. And this is our way into the cage, so we can finally do some talking to this monkey. Because doing that from the royal chamber was kind of awkward. Let's go help this guy. Sir, we are here. Oh, apparently there's a ladder here. <laughs> oh, you! How did you get here? Shh! If they see you, they'll capture you. What? My brother asked for your help? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. Just try to cut my rope. We'll talk after that. Of course, I'll free you. However, it's a little bit high. <laughs> uh, no good after all. Wait, you don't have to have something that can make a lot of noise, like a loud instrument with sound that carries a long way? If you have one, show it to me. Okay, why do you want an instrument? I do have one. An ocarina. That tiny thing will never do. Its sound won't carry far enough. Do you have something else? Well, officially no. However, if I change into a Deku scrub, my ocarina changes into pipes. Oh, you have them! You do! Just like the princess! Deku pipes! Those will work great! By the way, who are you? Uh, we're spotted. <laughs> Whoa, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to the Woodfall Temple above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? I do. The Deku Princess needs to be saved. So then, that means you will go in my place and save the princess. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Open your ears and listen hard. A X A X L Y L. Okay. A X A X L Y L. The song that opens the temple. You played the Sonata of Awakening. You learned the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody, which only the Deku royal family knows. It proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. Oh, that's not good. You'd better take the pathway the Deku people use to get to the Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King. Yeah, that punishing is about to begin, apparently, so we need to hurry. Okay, um... 
pathways over there. But before we do, let's go check out what is over here, real quick. To the left of the Deku Palace, we actually find the Deku Shrine. Remember that, there's nothing for us to do right now. But at least we know where it is, the moment we do have uh, something to do there. Okay, this is actually also a way to get to the outer palace garden. If you don't take the shortcut in the grotto. But this is where we want to go. The southeastern exit of the Deku Palace. The Woodfall Temple Pathway, for use of Deku Scrubs only. Yeah, there's a Deku Flower here, so humans don't really have a way to actually go here. <laughs> Okay, now we're in the upper area of the Southern Swamp, as you can see, up on top of these flowers. And we need to do some old-fashioned Deku flower platforming in order to get to the top of the waterfall and enter Woodfall. Where the Woodfall Temple obviously is going to be. Be careful for these new enemies. These bugs will actually try to attack you with electric stingers, as you can see. Normally on the ground already uh, pretty annoying, but they can also actually um, throw you out of the air if you get hit by them while flying, so make sure to avoid these guys. Best way to take care of them is to just lure them over, and the moment they try to sting you, pop out of a ducky flower, <laughs> and they will instantly get killed. Best way to take care of them. Okay, let's continue on. Final flower. Oh, one good thing to note, actually. In the Nintendo 64 version, this is actually the location where you learn the Song of Soaring. You only learn it at the entrance of the sw uh, swamp in the 3DS version. Kepora Gebora will be here in the Nintendo 64 version. Okay, that's it. Let's enter Woodfall for the first dungeon of this game. <laughs> 